Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now I've got a problem. I've just made up this interesting and tasty dessert because that's what I do. I sit at home thinking of ways to make desserts, obviously. But I've not quite got a good enough title for it. And kind of my working title is Apple Parcels, but a little bit boring. So this is what I'm going to do. The first one, no, the best one rather. Whoever comes up with the best title for this dish and puts it in, in the comments below, that's what I'll name this dish. So forevermore, for the next 10, 20 years, however long this video is up, it will be named by the name that you give me for this particular dish. So let's go. So this is a quite a simple dish. Now just imagine you, you're at home and you, you've, you've had your main, your, main, your main meal and you're, you know, most times you feel, I just could do something a little bit sweet, but all you've got in the house it's just a bit of bread, you've got some cinnamon, you've got a bit of sugar, some raisins, some apples, and what can you do with that? How random is that? I'm gonna show you how you can make a dessert out of this random bunch of ingredients. So to begin with, I'm gonna call them how to make apple parcels. One teaspoonful of ground cinnamon, 50 grams of soft brown sugar, a handful of raisins, six slices of wholemeal bread, three apples, and one teaspoonful of vanilla essence. Step one, peel and chop your three apples. Once the apples are peeled, just chop them up. If you notice, I'm using my claw grip using the bridge technique, so claw, make sure you notice how my fingers are behind the line of the blade. What I'm going to do is just, and then just chop these up. Fairly fine because we're going to cook them and the finer they are, the quicker they'll cook down because we're not going to be using much water. I'm just going to let the juice of the apples themselves cook the apples. So in order to do that, I need to try and chop them as fine as I can. Okay, all our apples fairly finely chopped now. I've chopped it particularly fine because I'm not gonna use any water when I'm cooking it, so I want it to just cook down as quickly as possible. Next, I'm just gonna pop that into a saucepan. I'm not even going to use any sugar either. Up in the saucepan, and then into that from additional additional sweetness. Pop in a handful of raisins, and I leave that to cook down for about 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is going to trim off the crust, nice and tight. Just trim off the very edge of the crust. I'm going to just trim the, the crust off. The aim is to try and make them all about the same size. So let's see if I can grab a bunch at the same time. Do a couple at a time. Okay. So we've trimmed the crust off. That's going to be the pastry, so to speak, for our apple parcels. Now we don't necessarily have to throw these away. If you wanted to, you can blitz these up in a food processor and use them as breadcrumbs. I'm going to put this one side for now. Okay, apple has been steaming down now for a few minutes. Into that, I'm just going to add a few drops of vanilla essence. You can see, get nice and soft. About five more minutes, that should do it. Okay, our filling is done now. Our apples are nice and soft, but they still have some little bit of bite to them. And there's a nice bit of sweetness, surprisingly, from the sugar in the apples themselves, but also from the addition of the raisins. So I'm just gonna leave that to one side now to allow that to cool. And I'm gonna work on the pastry side, the pastry side of our apple parcels. 
Next, add your 50 grams of soft brown sugar and a teaspoonful of cinnamon. a glass bowl and just stir in 150 mils of hot water give it a stir just enough for all the sugar to dissolve into the water and leave that to cool Okay, here's where our elements come together now. We have our bread, we have our filling. But what kind of dessert is this gonna be? Well, let's find out. First thing is, we dip our bread in our sweet liquid solution, both sides. Squeeze it out. So this solution, just a reminder, it's got our cinnamon and our brown sugar. So I've dipped it in, after I've dipped, I'm squeezing it out, it's relatively flat. Now this dish actually works better if the bread's a little bit older because it's a little bit firmer. Okay. And then, next, we get us a spoonful of our Pop it on top and close it up. there. That's one. Now another word for these, the little should be, taste a little, a little bit like a, a, health, a healthy version of the McDonald's apple pies. So that's one. Okay, let's try one again. Dipping our liquid either side. Squeeze out. Squeeze out quite a bit of the water, but at the same time, you don't want the bread to fall apart. Another spoonful of our mixture. Trying to overfill, because we want them to be able to close, close again. Pinch them together. That's two. I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of my bread and then we'll go to the next stage. And here we are, all our parcels all sealed up. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna come back. And uh, the final stage is actually gonna deep, deep fry them, so that's, that's a nice treat. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and finish up the process. Okay, so the final part now, our oil is getting nice and hot. Turn the temperature down a little bit. It's going to check the temperature. If I just dip a little bit of bread in, it's sizzling straight away. That tells me it's up to temperature. So now I'm going to drop one of my parcels in. That 
Let's see what happens. So you go to a little golden brown on all round. Remember, you're only really cooking it until the outside's nice and cooked because the inside's already cooked. That's a lovely colour. Tap up on the excess. Let's go again. So here we are with our apple cinnamon parcels. Here's one that I've cut in half, so you can see, if you could smell it, smell the, the caramelization of the sugar, the cinnamon inside, nice chunky but softly cooked apple, beautiful. Mm. Just bread, just apple, just a few raisins, and yeah, we have a tasty d dessert, well, is it tasty? Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Crisp on the outside. Soft on the inside. The cinnamon really comes through really well. The apples and raisins are soft, but yet still have enough bite to them to not want to mush. Mm. Really, really good. It tastes not that similar to uh, a McDonald's apple pie. But there's going to be considerably less fat in it because instead of using puff pastry, which is about 50% fat, we've used a slice of wholemeal bread. Although we have deep fried it, so. But there we have it. Uh, our tasty apple parcels. Now that's my name. And I need you to help me out. I need you to find me a better name for this dish. So whichever of you comes up with the best name for this dish, I'll rename this dish in your honour. So I'll come up with a top name to name my apple parcels dish and I'll be named that way forever. Once again, thanks for joining me at Food Tech 101. Food Tech 101 is now available on, is now also on Facebook and Instagram. And our email is admin at foodtech101.co.uk. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Come on, let's, let's spread this Food Tech 101 love. Let's try and, and get our way right up to a thousand subscribers. We're at 200 odd at the moment, which is pretty good because we've only been going for a couple of months, but let's crank this baby up to a thousand subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, your grandma, your granddad. Let's get people watching and talking about Food Tech 101. My name is Mr. Lyberg, so you can call me Sir. A thing we know.